Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now, it's during winter here in Tennessee, so uh, hopefully everybody's staying warm wherever you're at. Now, one of the things that people ask me about a lot when I'm at shows are bushcraft tools, which, um, if you're not familiar with what bushcraft and bushcrafting is, I'll tell you what I understand about it uh, once we get through the project. But one thing that several people have asked me for is a uh, an awl, a hand forged awl, or a crooked awl, I've heard it called too. And I knew what this one was because it was been in the Dixie Gunworks catalog for years, but theirs, it looks like theirs is just the uh, tips forged and then they heat it with a torch. So I put some thought into it and came up with a slightly different design for this and I want to show you how we forge it. The thing that I do different on mine is instead of having the same point at both ends, one side is a chisel point that can be used in carving or any of the other wood crafty, bush crafty activities. First order of business, I'm going to cut off oh, about five eighths, maybe more like three quarter piece of uh, 5160 leaf spring. give me enough to make two. I draw it out to 14 inches. So I want to draw it out. Put the 
I'm gonna start with the chisel side here. Just let this little guy cool off and uh, wire brush it next. Here's our finished product. Now, the reason why I just normalized this instead of hardening and tempering is because this is gonna get uh, a lot of use and probably need to be sharpened. It's not going into really hard stuff, so I don't think it'll dull that easy, but I want it to be easy to sharpen in the field. That's kind of the, the, the thing behind a lot of this bushcrafting is being able to take care of a lot of stuff in the field. Now, your all side should be good for poking holes in leather and uh, even wood, stuff like that. And since it's normalized, you can heat this and use it to, uh, to bore a hole in wood and you're not gonna hurt it at all. Uh, you know, because if, if it was hardened and tempered, you'd run the risk of, of taking the temper out. So that gives you another way to, to drill a hole if you need to. And then uh, the chisel on this side, it's not razor sharp, but it's, it's sharp enough to do some work in some wood. Um, and it can easily be sharpened uh, with a file or a whetstone, whatever you've got. So that is, uh, that's my take on it anyway. That is, uh, is how I make these. And I'm gonna keep these around now. I've had enough people ask for them. It seems like I should have them around. Uh, <coughs> but what, what bushcraft is or, or seems to be, it's not, it, it's like camping before leave no trace. It's, it's camping with building things in the woods, out of wood. Uh, I think that's the main thing, is making things in the wilderness with things that are available and with tools that you've brought with you. So it, it's really interesting. Um, and there's a, a I, I don't know how you could not know about it. There's a lot of information out there. You run into it all the time. That uh, television program alone, that's a lot of the bushcrafting stuff. But I've had enough people ask me to make different tools for bushcrafting that I'm going to be forging some of them. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope y'all got something out of this. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Y'all behave yourselves.